Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're playing a Vine Stalker Wizard of Mockleb, and we're about to head down into Lair. Okay, an uneventful descent. Immediately followed by something not uneventful at all, but he's asleep, so we'll just leave him be and head the other direction. Gastronauts a he, right? I think so. I guess it doesn't really matter. Like, what am I going to do with the knowledge of the gender of a giant slug, right? Uh, hello? Anyone else down here? I could handle a single yak. I don't want to handle multiple yaks, which is why I'm retreating. But my plan is to put down um, some conjured flame here and uh, let him enjoy that. Yeah, the axe are big enough that they think they can handle flame clouds, but they can't. Uh, so putting down. Eh, sure, I'll, I'll get the fork fine. Putting down a flame cloud and luring them into it is a good way to deal with them often. I don't think crocodiles are that big, right? They're actually afraid of fire. But uh, they're also not so tanky that you can't just magic dart them if you have unlimited time, which is what uh, which is what um, Flame Cloud gives you. Oh, this one doesn't think you can handle fire, huh? Oh yeah, it does. So they they they, they made um, three different cloud uh, glyphs, so you can tell like how long the cloud is going to continue being a cloud for. But I don't know how to read them, um, so I really have no idea in general whether a flame is about to go away or not. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Cloud of Flame, or Conjure Flame, is another one that players have been complaining about since the, the positional spell changes in, um, in point 0.25. They've been saying it's just like so useless, why do you ever learn it? And I'm like, are you kidding me? Look at this, it just instantly murders a yak. And you cast it, ah, this guy's fast, so he got on it before the flame could, um, could get, uh, could, like, catch fire, I guess. Um, but if you can make a little bit of space, it provides an escape for you against most enemies. Um, against others, it just, like, kills them. Like, what's not to like, right? That was such a dumb flame cloud, what am I even thinking? That one's better, but my position here is a bit awkward. I don't know, I'll just tab this bullfrog, right? We discovered that that's not a problem. Oh, you think you can walk into the flame, huh? Gotcha, your escape's been cut off. Oh, I've had these scrolls for a while that I should be reading, huh? I have several scrolls I have duplicates of, and I, sh I would like to know what those are. Yeah, see, there you, there you go. He walked into the flame again. Komodo dragon, that's another tough customer. Um, but once again, uh, judicious use of conjure flame and, if necessary, mephitic. We'll just tank a hit or two. And, uh, you know, almost die. What's the problem? Maybe I shouldn't do that, huh? God, they hit like a truck, huh? I hate walking away from him because then I lose the fact that flame is hitting him. But if I if I tab him again, I might just die. I don't know. We'll risk it. What the hell? 
See? Easy. Uh, it's a very, very reckless play. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't have the kind of patience that I used to have sometimes. Um, I still try to be a patient player, but I don't know. I just did not look forward to the whole having, having to reset that fight and, and, uh, and then get him back into another vulnerable position later. But okay, noted. Those guys can stand several several turns in flame, so I should, um, hello? Where did you go? So I should plan to get them confused if I'm going to try something like that again. Uh... I guess this hippogriff is far enough away from Gastronok that it's not that big a deal. But I don't, mm, I don't have a good place to actually fight. Uh, yeah, okay, we could buy several of these things. Right, like the problem is I could take him out with um, Mephitic but that would very likely wake up Gastronok, and that's just not something I want in my life. So I'm gonna leave this hippogriff alone. Um, and like, I don't, I would have trouble taking him out with Conjure Flame, so I'm not gonna do that. Mm, stab, got him. See, that's, that's like what I mean when I say I would have no trouble taking him out with Conjure Flame. A fight like that would happen, but it would be very loud. Which is dangerous on, on, a, on, a, on an unknown floor, of course, don't get me wrong. But it's even more dangerous when you know that there's a, a dangerous enemy you do not want to face nearby. Here, there just might be something dangerous. All right. Uh... So we're doing pretty well on defense now. We're doing okay anyway. I think I want to work on invocations. Get that mock web stuff going. Um, providing both like direct damage and summons means like that's those are two areas we don't have right now, right? Um, we have uh, you know we do okay on damage with Mephitic Cloud and stabbing, but um, we don't really have a way to spike damage exactly. Like if there's something that we can't handle with that, you know, or conjure flame, what exactly do we do? We, we run away and uh, that's fine, but sometimes you can't run away and, or, or you want to clear the area for, you know, there's, there's some reason that it's important to kill those monsters. They're guarding something, say. Um, and so having access to Mothlab's abilities, what is that? A door? Uh, having access to Mothlab's abilities increases the number of situations that, that you can handle. Berserk Rage. Well, I mean, that could be useful in some situations. Probably not many. But, you know, we're a pretty competent fighter at the moment. You're a resistant to poison, right? Yeah, so it's gonna have to be flame. There you go. And, uh, oh yeah, we're doing great on minor destruction and lesser servants, which is really like all I want right now. Um, let's just not train this any higher than six, say. That should be enough to make those skills quite reliable. A rhyme drake. Um, I mean, 
Mephitic should be fine against him, but I don't really want to walk into that area at the moment. It's not really a safe approach. Alright, Six-Headed Hydra is an issue. We could shut a door, but there's another like you just walk around. So this is probably like a Conjure Flame sort of situation, especially with the Komodo Dragon around. Um, the combination of these two, though, says to me that you want a Lesser Servant as well. So let's just get that started immediately. What does an Orange Demon even do? Causes weakness and stings from a distance. If angered, it will immediately vanish. Ah, they didn't, uh, they, they changed that, I guess, so you, summoned enemies don't become hostile if you accidentally attack them. That's interesting. Uh, let's just try some minor destruction as well. A stone arrow? I mean, it's not much, but... All right, let's try to get um, some confusion in there. Oh, oh god, I thought it said my orange demon was confused. But no, he's resistant to... Oh, he's not resistant to poison? Well, don't get in the cloud, you dummy. That's my plan. Oh, and we got Erica with all that noise. I was worried that something like that might happen. Oh, jeez. Machleb, I'm going to need a few more. A few more of these servants. Erica's invisible now. That's not great. Shutting the door there might not have been the best idea. It means the Hydra can't easily chase me. Um, But it also means my demons aren't allowed to continue fighting, I think. No, don't dig. Use um, Ice Blast again. Uh, that's an orange demon that I would make angry, which I don't really want to do. How about Ice Blast? No, that's what I just used. I meant uh, Disintegration. Um, I think this will probably hit Erica and not the Hydra, which is like fine with me. No, it didn't. Oh, Erica must be confused. The Hydra is distracted now. Hit it with some minor destruction. What was that, pain? Give me one more lesser servant, please. Hopefully something that can see invisible. Nope. We got the Hydra, though. Thanks, Machleb. Where the heck is Erica? All right, well, while I have you guys, if you could take care of that guy. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, you guys are so strong. What even happened to Erica? Did I kill him? Nope, she's still alive. Go get him. Yeah, God, these guys are strong. Um, but 
I really... Okay, great. That's what I wanted. I wanted to see Erica again, sort of. I want her to be confused before she becomes invisible. She's not currently in any clouds. She's confused now. I still have one demon and some stabs, so let's try and get her. There we go. All right, Invocations is up to six. That's plenty. Um, maybe some stealth wouldn't hurt. Uh, up to like, I don't know, seven. Stealth trains very quickly, so that's not really all that much investment. I'll definitely take her robe. So yeah, that was what, three servants? Oh, uh, turn auto pickup back on, please. I'm I'm totally happy to spend three servants worth of piety on a difficult fight. Uh, it could have not been enough. I would have been a little annoyed to have spent three of them on a fight and not won the fight. Um, but honestly, it's not even all that much. So, oh god, I forgot Swamp Worms can like hook you now. Are they, they're not resistant to poison or anything, yeah. So, I don't know, let's just try some minor destruction. Okay, this must be Swamp. Let's confuse these guys. Don't pull me into the flame. That's not how this is supposed to work. All right, now they're confused and on fire. That should help quite a bit. We'll just throw some minor destruction at them. Acid is great. You're on fire. Like, Mocklab's minor destruction is something you can just sort of, like, indiscriminately hurl at enemies. It doesn't really cost anything to speak of, especially as a Vine Stalker. Um, so it's like a better stone. Uh, I should be able to handle this with just um, flame and minor destruction, honestly, right? Actually, I could just die if he attacks me. Maybe that was a little, a uh, little bit foolish. I got him though. Oh, identity. Give me this. Potion of stabbing. All right, why don't we do some stab-like stuff, I guess. This is actually like the rare character where potion of stabbing is, is, is good, I think. Um, I don't even know. Going back on short blades, I guess. Now we already have the right skill target. Uh, getting that up to 10 will be pretty useful. Wake up, you idiot. There you go. <laughs> All right, layer three, here we come. And our, uh, our branches are swamp and spider, right? Okay. Oh, you know what I should do? Um, I should read those scrolls I was talking about earlier. Found teleport, found amnesia, no thanks. And mapping, okay. No, don't go in there. Oh my God. I just went to like, 
a staircase. I forgot that there are stairs to bad places. Well, that could have been a pretty sad way to die. Just get like stunlocked by a bunch of Tarantellas or something. What exactly am I going to do about him? I don't have a convenient, uh... place to put a cloud of flame. Um, okay, well, I know what would take care of a frog, a friggin' demon. And look at that! There's, uh, a hydra here to justify my excessive use of force. Excuse me? Can you stop hitting me so much? Yeah, give me another servant, please, actually, to deal with this Hydra. How's the fight going, guys? Pretty good, I guess. Got him. Anyway, I was just trying to pick up this ring. A bunch of jerks showed up. Alright, Ring of Flight's good to know about, but I'm still going to keep wearing stealth. Alright, this guy I should be able to take without using any divine resources. I just have to get him to like here, I guess? It's a little weird because I don't know. Okay, I did it wrong. Ah, idiot. Uh, the Moxon won't see me here. But I fell in a teleport trap. Okay, well, whatever, I guess. Uh, can I just handle a water moccasin? Maybe. I guess I'll put on uh, my Ring of Poison Resistance while I'm fighting this guy, I suppose. Yeah, okay. No big deal. I'll rest off this poison. Oh my god. There you go. A trumpeting. Okay, so there's an elephant behind him somewhere, huh? Well, that's not ideal. I guess what we do is we need to prepare a better battleground to fight on with a wand of digging. So I'm thinking something like uh, that. so that I can't get surrounded. And I have a bunch of room to fall back into with more uh, flame clouds if I want. But I would like them to hurry the heck up uh, so that they, I can make use of this flame cloud still. In fact, let's put down another flame cloud now and retreat. Yeah. Uh, this isn't doing as much damage as I would have liked to the enemies anyway. It's doing plenty to me. Uh, okay, I guess I can't make a new flame cloud, so let's just make them go away. Or get confused and stabbed to death. Uh, I, I genuinely can't deal with this yak right now. I can't deal with someone adjacent to me. Yeah, this is not great.
what to do. This teleport trap certainly put me in an exciting position. I wonder if I should be enchanting this dagger of electric electrocution actually, just make it plus nine. Not not now, obviously, but like what am I holding out for? A quick blade? It would be nice, but it's not likely. This is basically the best weapon I could have. Yeah, I should just dump everything into it. Well, I don't know. I guess in some sense a rapier is better, right? Because I'm not really relying on stabbing people for my kills. Yeah. So that would, that would be nice. Uh, but what am I doing about all this? Oh, I have invisibility again. That's another option. It would work quite well here. Um, it is my last one, though, so I want to consider whether it's worth spending. Uh, I could definitely spend a mite here. I would, that would be totally justified. There's fear still. If I was going to drink Might, I should have taken it earlier. I guess that was the problem with my Mephitic Cloud. I knew there was an elephant in the area that didn't seem to have found me, and the Mephitic Cloud drew him over here. Yeah. So maybe it wasn't worth it, even though it dispersed those two yaks kind of okay and killed one of them. kind of awkward because if I blink right now, I'm going out into the open, which is fine. I won't be surrounded anymore, but I'll be closer to the elephant, the more dangerous threat. Hmm. Can we just shoot some acid at the elephant? Oh, it can't reach. Hmm. I think I'll take a turn to drink a potion of might and then blink. Now that I'm surrounded. All right, that didn't work at all. There's a million elephants here. Oh my goodness. I should have just teleported to begin with. Okay, this is this is pretty manageable. I have a potion of might. In some sense, I should like get fights so that I don't waste it. But like, also, I'm a little bit low on health. Really? Sort of thought I could just tab this guy. All right. Well, summon a servant, I guess. I'll cough curing, just like this is kind of not a great position, even though it seems under control at the moment. If there's any enemies I don't know about, I would I would have some issues. What am I training right now? Short blades. Seems reasonable, I guess. Okay, now one elephant. Um, I can put like a flame cloud here and fight him here. That way he won't be able to um, push me back and he'll be stuck in the flame. God, there's so many of them. All right, give me... I can retreat now, right? Before, I was stuck. Now, if the fight's going badly, I can just walk away. So I'll try to take them out without... Um... expending any more resources. 
That's one down. That's good enough for me. I'll back off now. I don't need to kill them all at once. And I probably can't kill them all at once, so it's a good thing I don't have to, huh? Uh, I guess I'll eat something and make a bunch of noise here. I'm not exactly thrilled about that. But, you know, it's like a fireball. You use it when it's... Oh, geez. Look at all this. Um, it's about as noisy as a fireball. Ah, here we go. And honestly, more powerful than a fireball. So I'll just, I, I'm making another flame here because that one was probably pretty close to running out. Oh, he was smart enough to go around to let his friend through. Oops, I didn't need to wait there. Um, yeah, like, I mean, the spell is just gross. It does so much damage. Uh, where do I stand so that I can fight an elephant and not get trampled out of my, my corridor? Oof. I guess what I do is I put a flame cloud right here. And then I stand here. There you go. See, elephants are not that that bad to deal with if you like have all the time in the world and can isolate them and have an extremely damaging spell available. Uh, I still don't really, I don't know. I guess I'll just try to do the same thing against him. Ah! I don't want to deal with both of you. Good thing I'm so dang stealthy, huh? The elephant just never even noticed me. Um, just in case, let's get a lesser servant out here. If nothing else, it'll have the damage done to me, uh, but more optimistically, it'll help me kill the, the, the Hydra. Elephant, come here. I have a friend who would like to meet you. Yeah, and he's confused. All right, we made it to 10 on short blades. So... We could go back to fighting and dodging, but I still miscast my conjurations a bit. So let's train that up to 10. Where am I even going? I don't know, down here. Over this way. Auto Explorer would probably take me here, but it might take me back to the, the corner where all those elephants are, well, were hanging out. And I, I don't really want that to happen. So instead I'm choosing a target to auto travel to and then exploring that area. This demon is still here? It's been like an hour. That's crazy. I mean, I'm a fan. All right, there he goes. Just in time for me to have a bunch of issues. Okay, only the yak actually saw me though. That's that's the ring of stealth again, just coming super duper in handy. Oh, come on in, it'll be fine. Yeah, there you go.
Sonja's obviously the big threat in there. Let's get this. Um, not really sure the best way to tackle her. Obviously, I could just leave. Honestly, that's probably the right idea, yeah? Yeah, she has a Dagger of Distortion and Curare Needles. Like, why would I mess with that? Good question. I wouldn't. Let's just remember that Sonya's here. And go check out Lair 4. I think we'll handle this guy similarly to how we handled the last one. Yeah, I hit him with that steam. He's on fire. I don't know exactly how steam is going to do that much, but sure. Anyway, like, you saw that we were briefly at four pips of piety for Machleb, and now we're at three. Like, is that a big deal? No, absolutely not. You don't win the game by getting the six pips of piety. You win the game by getting the orb of Zot. And... Um, these... Lesser servants are solving thing like fights that might be the end of this character's life otherwise, right? And just making them pretty simple. Like I don't need four stars. What would I even use them for? Greater destruction? I'm not gonna train that in much invocations right now. Now a lot of great greater destruction is actually kind of dangerous, right? You lob something that you didn't know was gonna be a fireball, and you know, it makes your summons go away or whatever. At least it doesn't make your summons angry anymore. That was kind of worse. Uh, I can't. Oops. This fight's not going great. Smoke Demon, are you going to help or like what? Thank you. Although you kind of are scalding me too. There you go. Yeah, like, I mean, we just tabbed three yaks because of, uh, because of this smoke demon. All right, what do we have? Infusion is terrible. Galubria, bleh. Toxic Radiance, no thanks. Now, what the heck is Noxious Bog? It's a new spell since the last time I played, and I think it's generally regarded as not very good. Okay, so it lets you kind of create sludge while running away. Oh, the spell tells you what the miscasts do now. It's not just like, so what happens if I like were to miscast Mephitic Cloud? Yeah, magic contamination and also deal up to nine damage. No big deal, right? up to 10 damage. Yeah, and we have these things that are very, very low fail, and so they don't even, nothing bad even happens if we miscast them. Cool. God, these demons just hang out forever. I mean, there he goes, but still. It was a long time until he left. Wolves? I don't think I even need any help to deal with wolves, honestly. Just that is plenty. Yeah. And honestly, I don't know if the confusion was even really necessary. But it's free. Well, it's not free. It makes noise. Um, but just like the corridor and the ability to tab was kind of the main thing. I don't know. There must be a lot of people uh, on this channel who are watching this channel who've never seen Dungeon Crawler. Curious to me now. 
It was the first thing I ever did on this channel, and I did a lot of it. But it never got as many viewers as Prismata, so I bet... I don't want to mess with this Aqua plant. I bet there are a lot of people who, like... I don't know. It's not like this is the first game y'all have never seen. I've played a lot of wacky stuff since Prismata. Um, but I think still the largest proportion of my audience are Prismata viewers. And I'm not really explaining much of anything about how this game works. I'm just kind of telling you what I'm thinking, but that's fine, I think. You could go watch my first ever video if you wanted more of a, an intro. Boy, I don't know if I ever want to watch my first ever video. Um, there's nothing terribly wrong with it. Uh, what are all these spells? Ignite Poison. That's pretty cool, actually. We do have um, Noxious Fumes, and those count as Poison Clouds, so setting those on fire is kind of a way to get flames under the enemies. Um, it would take a bit of training, but not that much. I don't know. It's not really solving a problem we have right now. It's just a cool trick. Ooh, a Rapier. If I can get this branded... Um, oh, I guess there was already one on layer 2. Anyway, if we could get that branded with something good, I would be happy to dump a bunch of scrolls into it. Are we basically done exploring here? Yeah. Go check out layer 5. And eat a ration, I guess. Ah, interesting. I mean... How do I look at, uh, there we go. I mean, we have six points in long blades via cross training from short blades. So a particularly good artifact scimitar might be worth using. There are sheep on the floor, I guess. All right, I don't really know about putting down the fire and then confusing him so that he doesn't walk into the fire. Like, maybe that's a tactic worth reevaluating. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Oh, that scimitar. Yeah. I just kind of ran away because I made a bunch of noise and uh, I didn't want to be in the area. Right. We don't have normal sheep anymore. We only have dream sheep. That's right. Oh, I'm not going to come in, huh? Well, whatever. I'll just kill you from here, I guess. Um... I haven't ever used those boomerangs. I don't, can't see myself really taking a ring of ice anytime soon. Or immolation. Yeah. All right, where is everyone? Come on. I gotta kill some stuff if I want to get XP. All right, we have seven scrolls of enchant weapon. My goodness. More boomerangs. Not really that important, but sure. Black Mamba is tricky, actually, because um, it's not got enough HP that it wants to walk into flame clouds, but it's invincible to poison, so uh, Mephitic isn't going to bother it. So we don't really have a good way to deal with that at the moment, I don't think. Uh, I'll put on poison resistance though before I start this fight. And then the electrocution should just be fine. Like, I don't know, maybe we could just have the Black Mamba with poison resistance and electrocution weapons. But um, they, they hit pretty hard. And they don't have like no health. Nice stab. Do 
You're no longer allowed to butcher stuff that's not edible. I wonder when that change went in. Probably a while ago. There was never a good reason to do it. All right, let's just put up more fighting and dodging, I guess. All right, I guess we're just gonna get to stab that guy. That's nice. Wow, you know, seven stealth is more than I thought it was. All right, so can one dream sheep ever put you to sleep or does it require two? I'm not sure. Uh, at any rate, I don't want to have two of them in my face at a time. So I'm gonna get their attention and then run away. And then make so much noise that they all know where I am again. You know what, I could put in my ring of poison resistance actually and just wade into this. I should be doing that a lot more. Maybe that should be my default thing instead of the Ring of Stealth. I still have four Stealth Pips. Yeah, that's, that's definitely an improvement, I think. The ability to, like, use Mephitic Cloud in a lot more places. Uh, no, that's too many. Oh, also, I hit the wrong spell. That's too many dream sheet, please. I do not accept this. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Uh, Maklev, I could use some help, please. I could use, like, honestly, I could use a lot of help. Uh, just kill anything you can find. I'll take a nap over here. Thanks. Thanks, guys. That's that's what I was hoping for. Oof. I slept right through that combat. Very refreshing. All right. Are we, like, ready to go? Yeah, aside from this... Uh, Um, I can't even think of words right now. Black Mamba. It's a snake. You can tell because it says S. Okay, so uh, I think next episode we'll head down to the bottom of Lair and check that out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, I meant to end the recording, not save the game. All right, see you next time. <laughs>